Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to the Film Peaks here on Geek Nation. This is the best thing on the internet that is not Kanye West yelling at a cripple to get up. Um, my name's Stephen Falk. Uh, that is Steve Skelton. Oh, look at that That's guy. That's Todd Robert Anderson. That's me. And right there, holy crap, it's the grand dame of Geek Nation actress, podcaster, Claire Kramer. What's up, guys? You know, you know from everything to, from Buffy to, to Big Ass Spider, uh, and uh, she's on In Instagram and, and Twitter at, at Claire Kramer Official. On Instagram, that's true. Yeah. It, it has to be official. It's you know? official. Twitter's, Twitter's are there unofficial? Claire Twitter's Claire just Claire Kramer. There are, yeah. there's several, but you know what? I'm beating them down one Claire Kramer at a time. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, I'll well, while, while I'll she beat beats people, people uh, we're going to eat a little popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hello. Excellent. Can't have movies oh, without oh, popcorn. Oh, oh, mm. Oh, mm. 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 Uh, uh, and uh, while we're doing plugs, uh, well, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're the worst is over. But uh, oh, the worst is over. But you on, can get it on iTunes. He's on a little yeah, show. Yeah, you can. You can. So you can, you can do a rewatch. Little yeah. show called "You're the Worst" uh, and just ended uh, tonight on FX. No, la last, 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 week last week last on week, FX, yeah. but it, it's on iTunes and, and Amazon and yeah, Hulu you and all get that. Yeah, so You're the worst. And very good. New Yorker loved it. So 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 should you. Um, so let's get right into rash judgment. Oh and this is where. We review the movies that are coming out tomorrow, Friday, uh, yeah. based on nothing but our own dickish instincts. We don't see it. We are not allowed into screenings. We don't no. get our hands on the scripts or any press mm -mm. stuff. Mm -mm. We just look at the trailers and say if you should see it or not. So let's start with Steve. What do you got what? for us? Uh, you guys, I have got a great rash judgment for you. Mm. It's for a little movie called... The Equalizer. Yeah, baby. What? What? Oh, what is this? Wow. The 1980s? Oh my God! Listen to this. This is the movie version of the classic 1980s uh, TV show with the elderly British gentleman yeah. who uh, Edward R R R R R Edward R R R R who meted out justice to evildoers. This time, though. It's Denzel Washington. Whoa. That's it's better than a white British guy. Oh, man. It's Denzel Washington as the equalizer. He's so raw. It's an Antoine Fuqua movie. Oh, they were raw. raw together. Who, if you like Training Day uh, I did. with Denzel, then I'm on board with that. He's King also, Kong. He's King Kong. Also, Antoine Fuqua directed what I considered to be the greater of the White House Gets Attacked movies. Oh, Olympus has Olympus fallen. Olympus has fallen. Yeah. So he does fun action. And it's Denzel. That says meeting. so very little. What? The greater of the two white yeah, house but, terrorists. Yeah, but it's true. <laughs> it's Denzel meeting out justice in an Antoine Fuqua action movie based uh, on an 80s TV show and, and rated R. Rated R, you guys. R, rated R. I'm on board. I'm going to see the, it. Is the tagline, shit's going to get equal? <laughs> it should be. Yeah. Shit's gonna get equal. Shit's gonna get equal. When shit's not equal, who do you call? <laughs> the, the Equalizer. equalizer. Alright. Steve Skelton with the Equalizer. Big, oh, yeah. big, big, big go see. Absolutely. Todd, yeah. uh, do you have as much success with your rash judgment? My rash judgment is not as exciting. No. Um, my rash judgment is for uh, a movie called Jimmy, All Is On My Side. And it's a biopic. About Jimi Hendrix. Always on his side? He lies on his side a All lot? is on oh, my uh, side. Oh, okay. All is on my side. I Meaning, was hoping it was going to be the biopic like like of Jimmy James. Everything, Radio. Yeah. everything is on Jimi Hendrix's side. Like his bio. But that movie would be called Macho Business, don't you? It seems to me that not everything was on Jimi Hendrix's side. Uh. Given <laughs> how things turned out. The way but it went. Yeah. I will yeah. say this about... It's unfortunate. They should have turned him on his side when he puked. <laughs> Oh, too, <laughs> too soon! Too much! Too much! Too soon! It's been too a long soon! Time. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, I'm not a big biopic guy. Yeah. But if I do see a biopic about a musician, I would at least like to hear the music that the musician recorded. Sure. But in Jimmy All on My Side, they couldn't get the rights to Jimi Hendrix music. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all Jimi Hendrix like. It, so <laughs> you get, like if that's what you're into in a movie, it's like a guy who seems like Jimi Hendrix, which is what you're gonna get at this point. He's like in, Jer Jerry history, Hendrix, and then music yeah. that sounds like <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Like maybe that's your thing. It's not mine. I'm not going, and uh, I don't recommend anyone go to it. 
Uh, what I recommend is staying home Getting and listening yeah. to Jimmy Hendrix music after smoking some shit out of a bong. All right. Yeah, that's and just I'm remember saying. to roll over. Uh, all right. Uh, so that's a big no. Uh, Claire, what do you have for us? Well, I've got a little animation, a little animated movie called Box Trolls. Oh. Okay. Huh. Um, What's that about? Well, it's a little bit confusing, yeah. but... You can break it down like this. It, it, it centers around this character, Eggs, who has been raised by the box trolls, which are real creatures, although they have been mythically sort of... Uh, Wait, stop. What? Stop. <laughs> they're not, they're you not. just said they're real creatures. So box trolls are real things. Well, in the movie, they are real. But not in reality. But in reality... Yeah. They are also real, and they live under the 405, okay? Okay, it's so true. they're real box they, trolls. They're, they're no, real those box are just trolls. hobos. Right, but <laughs> some of them wear boxes. So, I mean, uh, they, you know, there's a crossover. Yeah. There's a mashup going oh, on. Oh, this is a pro-homeless picture. It's it's half documentary, half, you know. It's like a Ken Burns. <laughs> no, but actually, it basically, <laughs> yeah. it is Tarzan. <laughs> it's Tarzan? It's Tarzan with boxes, box trolls. With gar and like Tarzan's been raised by garbage. Eggs plays Tarzan. He's been raised by box trolls <laughs> under the <Eggs> city. <laughs> There's a little I'm girl lost. voiced by Ella Fanning who is obsessed with these creatures and she, she wants to discover Egg's father fish has gone above ground. So Egg's comes up, he realizes he's a boy, not a box troll. Craziness ensues and there I you have it. I am exhausted. Yeah. Just listening to I say if you have children <laughs> And you're really looking to get out of the heat this weekend. Take live them in to LA, see it's so hot. Walk Go see yeah, the but, but, but that might not even work because the arc light lost power. Oh, uh, it did. Yeah. That's true. Oh, you know, I'm sa I'm 50 50 on this. I'm right. I'm walking the line. I really don't care about box trolls. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're gonna see it. Maybe you're not. Let me know. You don't care about box trolls, but you care about getting your kids to shut up for 90 minutes. Yes, I will go for the popcorn, the AC, and but, oh my god, time that's such away. a good point, though. Yeah. Do you think that box trolls? That's what this comes down to. This is a family movie. Yes. So do you think your kids will shut up for 90 I minutes? I feel that my six-year-old will and my four-year-old. Won't. Okay. So okay, fine. So, 50, so 50. leave so, the four-year-old at a daycare center. Maybe. Well, just buy extra candy or Benadryl. I don't know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Put Benadryl in the candy. Benadryl. Oh, I mean, wow. you know, I I I say 50-50 box advice. trolls. I yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we had <laughs> one yes, one no, one uh uh eh. <laughs> and uh, that was Rash Judgments. I hope that helps you decide what you're going to do this weekend. I don't see how um, it couldn't. No, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna segue, you guys. What? what? We're going to segue what? into, well, having Claire Kramer, such an accomplished actress. Yes. She has a bunch of movies guys, uh, upcoming. That she's huge too, resume. You know, that she doesn't need to plug because they're, they're going to do so well yeah. just with her name. But we've, we've asked her, as we, as we have before, to teach the audience a little something about acting, since we have her here. Mm. Yeah. So she's done another one of her uh, Claire Claimer master uh, classes, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and this time it's on um, it's on uh, uh, how to make a movie work for you as an actor. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think we can fairly say yeah, when you have an, yeah, as I much mean, clout as Claire does, you can do that. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, let's. Uh, what oh my we, God! What oh. should we do? You, grab that. Oh, Link. Let me. Wait, got it? You got it? You got it? Roll it! Hello, Claire Kramer here, once again giving you an important lesson in acting. Now, most people do not realize that making movies is hard work. And that's why it's crucial as an actor that you pick roles where you don't have to move around a lot. Yeah, take a look at this. What's the matter, rookie? Don't have the stones for a murder scene? I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I'm not ready to become a crime scene investigator. No, 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 you have to do this for me. As a brilliant yet unorthodox investigator who suffers from extreme agoraphobia, I need you to be my eyes and ears. Yes. Here's your water. Oh, thank you. You know, you have become so much more than my caregiver. You have become my family. <laughs> I really hope you're not stabbed to death in Act 3. Yeah. Thanks, I... What now? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That was the scene shot as written. Pretty good, right? Not, not a lot of movement. I got to stay in the same location for most of the shoot. Yeah, but what if I could make things easier on myself by making a few 
Simple adjustments to my character. Yeah, now here is my first on-set adjustment. What's the matter, rookie? Don't have the stones for a murder scene? I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I'm not ready to become a crime scene investigator. No, 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 you have to do this. As a brilliant yet unorthodox investigator that suffers from extreme agoraphobia and, whoa, 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 and frequent bouts of vertigo, I can't be there myself. You gotta be my eyes and ears. Here's your water. Oh, thanks. And now, I'm gonna miss you after your bones are all stabbed. <laughs> Please stop saying that. Yeah, <laughs> how about that? See, one simple choice and I was able to sit down for half the shoot. That's good, right? No, that is not good enough. See, as an actor, you need to be prepared to take that character choice made for your own comfort to its logical conclusion. Now watch. What's the matter, rookie? Don't have the stones for a murder scene? I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I'm not ready to become a crime scene investigator. You have to do this. As a brilliant yet unorthodox investigator suffering from an unspecified spine injury that confines me to this comfortable couch, I can't be there myself. You have to be my eyes and ears. Here's your water. Thanks. You know, I sincerely hope you survive your inevitable stabbings. I quit. And that, my friends, is how you turn a physically challenging movie shoot into a relaxing six-week nap. You're welcome. All right. Well, thank you oh. so much, Claire. That yeah. was. Um, Woo. I mean, mackerel. as you guys can see tonight, I have brought the stool in. I'm yeah. carrying over it's, the master uh, class. It's the lesson. Yeah. 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 Lesson learned. So right you know, That's, I mean, yeah. maybe it'll be implemented in future Film Pigs episodes. We'll have to see. Yeah. 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 Wow. I mean, there's so many nuances to making movies and acting. There really yeah. is. Yeah. You know, and being sleepy. I'm just valuable. happy that and you And needing guys to relax. Give me the chance to share one little, you know, educational it's item at a time. A director I know uh, uh, has done a lot of uh, SU, SVU uh, episodes. Yeah. SUV. A, 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 SUV. Sports SVU. utility vehicle, <laughs> and he, law and order. And he said that, um, <laughs> that uh, the key to working with iced tea uh. Is to just block him sitting, <laughs> and so but make it make it sound like it's organic. So be like, okay, so you know, Mariska, you do this and, and maybe whatever relaxing. you do this. Uh, I, I think you should be sitting like looking at files. And he's like, great idea, great <laughs> idea, always. He'll, he'll love it. Love <laughs> he'll be it. Very happy. And that seems like the iced tea. I All know. right. Well, you guys, um, I think this show has sort of uh, had everything. Oh, it uh, really? I, I can't think of what it didn't have. Uh, yeah. We had yeah. uh, we had intros. Yeah. Yeah, we did yeah. that. Um, we had plugs. Okay? Uh, no. We had we had popcorn. No, I'm not. I don't. We had popcorn. We had I a. Feel like uh, we've done too much. We had rash judgments. Uh, we had we had a bit. We had a little physical bit. Yeah, we did there's a, a whole thing. Like, and then we uh, uh, up the popcorn. Um, then yeah. we, we had a uh, master class. Whew. We did. Then we so came, we, we rolled out of that seamlessly yeah. uh, and, and talked about stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and now we're wrapping it up. Yeah. We referenced Ice Tea. We yeah. did. And then I told an anecdote. You did. So we had it's anecdotes. Like a whole, yeah. it's like and a whole I kind of said, eh. Yeah, and he shit. was worried about my mental state yeah. for a second. Yeah, we went on a journey. Yeah, um, I, we're about <laughs> to die. Uh, we're about to all pass out from the heat because <laughs> it's been 110 degrees in the valley. It's so hot, and uh, we got a bunch of lights. Yeah, and right so uh, so in effort of us not passing out, um, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, uh, my name is Stephen Falk, hang, hang and, and uh, stay, stay, stay on behalf of uh, stay strong. Todd Robert Anderson, stay strong. Steve Skelton. Our guest, Claire Kramer. Claire Kramer. Claire, yeah. Claire Kramer, official on Instagram. Um, uh, we are the Film Pigs. And until next week, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Bummer. There it is. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your popcorn. Stay safe. Hug your loved ones. Uh, don't leave your dogs or kids in the car. You know what's awesome? Oh. I met Tony Todd tonight. Todd met Tony Todd I of Candyman. Oh, my God. Very exciting. It's very exciting. It's like my Tony favorite Todd. ever. <laughs>